welcome back to Cut the Crackle. The lovely people over at Minifix.me have sent me over these four matchboxes. I wonder what's inside? Sounds like minifigures to me. Custom Stranger Things minifigures to be a little more precise. Of course, this isn't the first lot they've sent me. If you haven't already, be sure to check out their other custom Stranger Things minifigures in my previous videos. Full disclosure, I got these minifigs free to review, but all opinions in this video will be my own. And if you like what you see, use my exclusive discount code 2020craggle10 to get 10% off your entire order, whether you pick up any of these or anything else at minifigs.me. Right, let's get this show on the road. First up, we have Lucas's little sister, Erica. She first appeared in Season 2, in what was originally meant to be a pretty much one-and-done part, but the makers of the show loved her so much, they brought her back as a main character in Season 3. You can't spell America without Erica. This minifigure is based on that costume, and the design on printing on this is excellent. The yellow torso as the base really pops. I do think they could have made the collar a bit bigger, just to add to those splashes of pink this outfit has. And really, these arms should have short sleeves, but I'm not sure how that would work out with... Wait... They didn't. Yes, they did! They printed on the sides of the legs! This... This is fantastic! If you've watched any of my reviews of Minifix.me stuff, you'll know the one thing I've asked for repeatedly is printing on the sides of the legs. And they've finally done it! It looks so much more fluid, especially with a design like this when you have the character in shorts, with their bare legs showing and then their trainers. You can see the lines don't meet up 100% here, but to be honest, I'm only seeing that looking through the zoom lens of my camera. If you were to just look at this as is, I don't think you'd really notice. You get more nice printing around the back, really nice continuation of her dungarees from the torso piece down to her legs. That's pretty much standard with minifigs.me to be honest though. I'm still just really happy with that leg printing. It just really nicely completes the minifigure. Our face print is pretty nice as well with that cheeky smirk. I do kind of wish they had printed one of the little stars she has on her cheek though. And that hairpiece I'm not really sure about. I mean I knew this was Erica as soon as I saw it. But that hairpiece looks more like how she does in Season 2. Rather than the beaded braid she has in Season 3. Maybe they should have just given her the helmet she wears when crawling through the vents of Starcourt Mall. Then we have Eleven. Now of course this isn't the first Season 3 L I've had from Minifigs.me. They've already produced one of her in the play suit she wears after going shopping with Max. This one is based on the outfit she wears through most of the final act of the series, when the snot really hits the fan. Like with the other Season 3 Eleven, they've given her this hairpiece in dark brown, and I'm still really not sure that is the best choice. She has lighter brown hair, and it's not really in this style, but it does give some nice continuity with their other fig. The torso design is great. They really captured that unique 80s style pattern from the shirt she wears in the show. That black printing is really sharp and crisp, and it even carries on to the arms as well. She also comes with this really nice printed tile of Eleven's favourite snack, Eggos. Oh wait. Oh no. She doesn't have any side printing on their legs. Oh man. And I was so happy that we got side print on Erica's legs. I mean, I guess it's not that bad on this minifigure. The only side printing you'd really expect would be the sides of her trainers. And the belt, maybe. I can live with this. She does have some very nice printing on the back of her torso and the legs as well. And if we take off her hairpiece and turn around her head, she has this truly Epic alternate face print from when she uses the American flag as a blindfold to use her powers. I absolutely love this. That print just looks excellent. So crisp and vibrant. And she also has that trickle of blood from her using her powers. Such an iconic image from season 3. And minifigs.me have really captured that here. Easily my favourite thing about this minifigure. Superb. 
Next up, we have my favourite Stranger Things character, Dustin. Like Al, this is the outfit he wears in the final stretch of Season 3. I was really hoping that Me would find a way to give him his green and yellow Camp Nowhere baseball cap, but I know they had some difficulty with that, so instead opted to give him this Hobbit-style hairpiece, which I think is pretty spot-on for Dusty's hair. I actually used the same piece for my Dustin in his Ghostbusters uniform on my Stranger Things set ideas video. But by far, the standout part of this minifig has to be that torso design. That is simply spectacular. The designers have done an uncanny job of recreating the t-shirt design Dustin wears with the sunbathing cow. It's utterly perfect. <coughs> his denim vest carries over onto his legs, which unfortunately does use the short leg Lego piece. I do really wish they had used the mid-sized legs. You can get away with it with Erica as she's younger and we haven't had an official minifig of her to compare to, but both Eleven and Dustin have minifigures in the official set that use mid-sized legs, and they're based on the characters when they were younger. Sadly, I'm also just noticing now that this minifigure doesn't have printing on the sides of the legs. That's so strange. They did it for Erica, but none of the others? That makes no sense to me. I can live without the side printing on Eleven's legs, but this really does look jarring. Because he's wearing shorts, and his bare leg just cuts out. It also doesn't help that so little of the original base colour of the piece is visible around the front. So this dark blue just kind of juts out of nowhere. Around the back we have more quality printing on both the torso and the back of the legs. The torso print is a little plain, but I don't think there's anything missing, it's just the back of his vest. And if we take off his hairpiece and move his head around, he also comes with this much more shocked expression. That's great. That's so adorably dusting. Actually, looking at this, I don't think it's meant to be him surprised. I think it's meant to be him singing. And who is he singing to? Susie! She does exist! Ah, oh, this minifigure is just so cute. The hairpiece is not 100% accurate. Lego don't make a suitable hairpiece with long, low bunches. So minifigs.me have gone with this long, over-the-shoulder hairpiece. And I think that was absolutely the best decision. It may not be entirely screen accurate, but I think, altogether, this is instantly recognisable as Dusty Bun's long-distance girlfriend. She comes with this simple but neat microphone stand as an accessory, and the face print is beautiful. That really captures the look of the character so, so well. And the printing on her nighty is really nice. They've simplified the design of the fabric, but I think that was the right thing to do, and it's what LEGO would have done too. It just looks really simple and wholesome. They've also continued that pattern onto her arms as well, but it is missing on the sides of this slope piece they've used for the bottom of her nightgown. And this is my only real complaint with this minifigure. I don't think it works. It looks just so odd having this steep slope here at the back, and with no printing on the sides or even on the back of the slope, it just doesn't look right. And if we take off this hairpiece... Oops. Oh man, <laughs> the head came with it. This is one of the few recurring problems I've had with Minifigs.me stuff, is that it's very difficult to take the hair off without the headpiece as well. I think it might be because they've removed that little black square you normally see on the neck. Oh, come on. Please, I just want to take the hair off. Oh, for crying out loud. Finally, I managed to get the hairpiece off, so you can now see Susie also comes with an alternate face print for when she sings along with Dustin. Wow, so I kind of feel like I've been complaining a lot about these minifigures, which is odd because overall, I love these. The colours are just so vibrant, the prints are perfectly designed and executed brilliantly. Each one does a terrific job in capturing each character they're based on. I think maybe 
Minifigs taught me have become a victim of their own success. The more they up their game, the more I expect of them. So when I saw that they had printed on the sides of the legs with Erica, I expected to see that on all of them. It doesn't really matter so much with Eleven, but Dusty definitely would have benefited from the print on the sides of his legs. My favourites here have to be Eleven. That alternate face print with the American flag blindfold is just stunning. And of course, Dustin. He's my number one favourite character in the show, but even beyond that, his torso print here is simply next level. That's no knock on either Erica or Susie, they're both also brilliant minifigures. But for me, those two are the standouts. If you like the look of these or anything else from minifigs.me, remember to use my exclusive discount code 2020 craggle 10 to get 10% off your entire order. What do you think of these custom Stranger Things minifigures? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, and if you haven't already, be a hero and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Laters.